well sometimes there's just good days and sometimes there's just bad days in apex and sometimes you got to talk about the bad and talk about what could be better and sometimes we got to talk about the good and ask whether or not it's actually going to save the day but after what happened last night many fans are attributing this to like apex trying to save their game but of course many are still skeptical so let's talk about what apex just did and whether or not it's actually going to make a difference already started picking finalist winners for our loba heirloom prestige skin so if you guys want to keep adding your name into the plot all you gotta do is like comment and subscribe believe it or not we're actually down six subscribers for the month so i know you guys are not hitting the subscribe button and honestly i'm just asking i'm desperate please just for the love of god please hit that button in all seriousness let's talk about what's going on with apex right now by the way the esports show awards went on yesterday and apex did actually not get nominated for like any of esports event stuff from last year unfortunately so yeah they really do need to start stepping it up a bit and they decided to announce their trailer yesterday and this is another crossover we had one with post malone earlier this season there is another one coming this season and it is with final fantasy 7 this is a rebirth event trailer we have always said that apex needed to do something like this that it's not just skins it's not just you know changing this character to look like this guy whatever but actually do something that's just untraditional make it different for instance one of the things i've always praised fortnite for is they will go against the grain big time like they actually have an event right now where literally nothing is fortnite it's just all legos is it weird and can some of the things be absolute cancer i'm sure they could but at least it's always like fortnite's doing something or they always got some event going on i mean here's a list of what fortnite's been doing in the last couple of months and it's crazy how much they pump out content battle royale zero builds battle royale ranked lego fortnite rocket racing og fortnite I'm not even sure what this uefn island thing is but that's a lot of drastic changes and drastic updates that just really make you want to go try the game again we got eminem in the game the weekend is supposedly coming into the game so what is exciting about this crossover event is that it's not just skins but we got this massive like blade swinging thingy majigger and this is going to be awesome honestly this is going to be something so new and fresh and totally untraditional so i said what if apex adds this final fantasy crossover with a new fun blade swinging mode whatever season 13 rank like a really good rank system comes back get rid of broken moon we had in-game tournaments and leaderboards three strikes was like more permanent in the mixtape playlist or something really big massive nerfs and buffs so that the meta is all different people stop using the same three legends big map change or new map whatever the game would probably skyrocket if apex would just do more drastic things and of course this got a lot of positive feedback and a lot of negative as well a lot of people were saying things like i would come back to the game finally this so needs to happen and then of course you had some people say like you know after two weeks you guys would be spitting on it again people are drawing a lot of comparisons obviously to a lot of the viewership as well fortnite was having like 1.6 million live viewers while apex was having like 26,000. even imperial how obviously apex's biggest streamer went on to say that like you know it's kind of embarrassing that he has like a third of all of apex's viewership right now and then obviously if he wasn't streaming this game probably would be doing even worse so he had something to actually say about it on stream regarding the viewership in apex and the state of the game and the way that it's going roll the clip <clears throat> this is also bound to happen when i feel like apex has been kind of like plateauing when it comes to their game itself and when other comes around you know like fortnite and warzone it's just bound to happen you know like people just i guess i don't know people kind of just are bound to move on to new things or try it out and maybe they'll come back who knows but if, i don't know well yeah it's like apex's job is to basically be able to retain these players and also when you know new games come out that they don't tank as hard right by up like making good updates and stuff like that nothing like cold steel on a hot day but we have to wait until what isn't the next season until like february or something so to piggyback on top of what he's saying obviously you've had a lot of fortnite events going on a lot of fortnite changes going on warzone just released as well new cod's been out just recently the finals dropped the other day i think of other couple things are coming out as well a lot of people are simply excited about other things and other games out there and i think that's a pretty healthy thing to do in the gaming world to have good friendly fair competition to where there's other games that are just really putting pressure on your game but i really just hope that respawn reacts well enough 
to do good quality content that gets people excited about this game again because fight my belief that yeah people will eventually come back to apex and people will probably still watch algs and things will still probably get better for a short time whenever the new season comes out just because it is good for people to go play other games and like other games and come back to apex whatever they still need to do a better job at keeping people at apex of course a lot of people were really excited about this whole final fantasy crossover like we talked about even garrett leak saying that he wanted to kiss the apex devs but of course this didn't really excite the community like so much that viewership just skyrocketed or anything yet obviously viewership is still down for not only twitch viewership but apex youtube as well so what are some changes that you think apex should look into making to make this game a little bit more popular all the time rather than just like seasonal events or changes or updates patches whatever what could they do i personally am just a firm believer that in-game tournaments community events and stuff like that are the way to go let me know if you agree and like comment and subscribe if you want a chance to win the loba heirloom prestige skin and until the next time i'll see you all later gators